Good morning! Today is Sawyer 13th and um, Andrew and I are getting ready to go to work. We did our gratitude meditation, our affirmations, some exercise. Um, Andrew's on day two of the fast. So he was getting through some of the things he needed to get through, like the tinctures and the tea and things like that. Um, and now I'm just getting ready because we both are going to be uh, getting ready for work. Um, and yeah, so today I'm actually just going to take some rehydrated prunes with me and I'm about to open up a coconut. And that's what I'm going to take with me. And then when I get home, I'll probably um, have some watermelon or oranges. I can't decide. I have a little um, like open the cut in my mouth. So whenever I eat citrus, it's a little bit irritating because it's just really intense feeling on that part in my mouth. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the watermelon um, when I get home. And that will be my two meals for the day. Um, and yeah, that's what I think is the plan. And I'll keep you posted about it. Anyway, I'm uh, going to go take care of that coconut downstairs, use my Coco Jack, open it up, put it in a container and take it with me. Um, and then I have the prunes already ready to go. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for the day. Uh, and we also picked our cards. We have a whole bunch of cards that we pick every morning. And I was feeling some things this morning when I woke up and pretty much all the cards that I picked related to what I was talking about with Andrew, right? after we had done our gratitudes and affirmations. So it was pretty awesome. It was just saying to release all of that and let it go. And it was just exactly what I needed to hear. So very interesting stuff, cool stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, gotta go open that coconut. I'll see you later. All right, hello there. I just got home. I worked today. Well, I just got well, I just got home, and I washed some dishes, and now I'm gonna put them on our little drying rack. Um, I didn't film myself eating the rehydrated prunes that I had because I ate them at um, my friend's house, so I didn't film that. But I just had that coconut and the prunes, and I have time to get these dishes on our little drying rack that we have, and then I'm gonna go pick up some freezer bags and pick up Andrew because he gets it to work at five. Um, so I don't really have too much time to eat, so I think I'm just gonna open myself up another coconut. <laughs> because I love coconuts, they're so good. Um, so I'm gonna open up another coconut and I think for supper, I will either have a watermelon or tomato pepper with some lime juice. I haven't decided yet, um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch base about that because I haven't really been talking today. Um, I just kind of had a busy morning and, you know, Andrew and I, we did our exercise this morning. We did our great um, gratitudes, our affirmations. So it feels really good. Like that, it feels really good that we have a rhythm right now. Um, but I am a little tired because we are waking up at like, we are waking up at 4.30 in the morning. Um, so yes. But tomorrow I am actually not working so that gives me an opportunity to clean up the house a little bit more. We did like such a good job this weekend. I'm so happy about it but I have like I, I want to put stuff on the new shelves in the kitchen and I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't really been thinking about it yet. Um, so I think I'm going to do that tomorrow and just kind of relax and um, I'm also going to read a lot because there's so many new books that I got in and I want to read them all. Um, so I'm really excited. But right now I'm um, getting, I'm reading The Universe Has Got Your Back by uh, Gab Gabrielle Bernstein, I think. Gabriella Bernstein. Um, it's pretty good. I started it in New York City. I kind of took a break because I started. I started that one, but that one also has exercises at the end, so I was kind of reading it a lot slower than I necessarily wanted to. Um, but I think I'm going to have to read that one again and go through the exercises more thoroughly. Um, but I also really want to get through the nonviolent communication book that I bought. 
uh, when I was in New York City and I really, really thought that book was life-changing, amazing, really wonderful. Um, I'm really excited to work on using the techniques in my everyday life and having that be how I talk to people. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there because um, that was really amazing. If you haven't checked that book out, it's really good. I would highly recommend it. It was recommended to me by several people. I remember Chris Kendall recommended it to me years ago at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Um, so, and other people as well. And I was like, I think I need, like, I think it's time for me to get this book. And I read it and I was just, I was taken aback and was really inspired. So, anyway, I'm gonna open up this coconut and I'm gonna head out. I will catch you on the flip side. Every time I get a coconut, literally every time, it's amazing. I just finished my coconut and now I'm off to get my boo. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just kidding. Well, he is my boo. I love him. He's my husband, Andrew. The best. He's so nice. He's the best. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go pick him up now. <gasps> Can't wait to see him. Just to like, give him a hug. Who loves hugs? I love hugs. I love being held. It's one of my favorite things. And he's the best hugger. He just makes me feel so safe. I love him so much. Anyway, I'm on my way to go pick him up. I will keep you posted about what I eat for supper tonight. So anyway, I picked up Andrew. I'm making my supper. I decided that I wanted to have a more savory dish instead of the watermelon. So I'm gonna save the watermelon for tomorrow and have that for my eating. Um, but I'm gonna eat um, some red bell pepper with tomato. I have uh, little vine tomatoes lime juice, I think cilantro, and some green onions. I really like that mix, it's like really good and filling. I know it's a little bit, um, it's quite a few ingredients. I know they say to stick with a mono meal, like fruit dish, but I really like this combination and it seems to be going through me pretty well. I actually had three bowel movements today. Um, the first two didn't feel very complete and the third one finally did. Probably like the ending of the first two ones. So that was really helpful and I did eat the prunes today so I'm hoping that would also help flush everything out. But I really do enjoy the flavors, like the kind of the saltiness of the tomatoes with the lime juice, it's just so good. So I really want that for supper tonight. Um, in the meantime, I'm actually gonna, I had two coconuts already. I'm feeling a little like thirsty. So Andrew and I got this cold pressed pomegranate juice. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try, because Andrew's doing the fast, so he's not drinking anything pretty much except grape juice. So I'm gonna give it a try and prepare my little salad. Um, and then we'll see, because we had originally planned to go to Andrew's parents' house, but we might not be now, which is nice, because then we can just stay home and be cozy and snuggle. Not to snuggle. Anyway, um, so that's the plan just thought I'd keep you posted. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up my salad here. I already started um, cut, cutting the tomatoes here. So I don't know if you can see that so well. Let's see, there we go. That's like a little bit better. 